Hey guys, today I have my summer reading kind of update. We are about, I think, just about a month into this, and I had given myself six books, so two for each month, that I was hoping to read through the summer. They are all books that have been on my shelf for quite a while and really just wanted to get to. I felt like they were a pretty good theme for the, the summer and everything, and if you guys missed the original video for all of this, I will leave that linked below. But like I said, I just want to give you guys an update today. So these are the six books that I wanted to read over the course of summer. The first one was Losing the Light by Andrea Dunlop. Have not made it to this yet, but I still really want to. Um, I don't even know where to put this. Okay, we're just going to go upside down. Stack, I guess. The next one was The Mountain Story by Lori Lansons. Again, another one that's been on my shelf that I want to get to, so I'm still hanging in there, but have not read it yet. Then we have The Lost Girl of Astor Street by Stephanie Morrill. I've heard really good things about this and yet haven't picked it up. I love the cover and I love the kind of concept about it, so I'm still looking forward to that as well. Then we have The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee, and I really, really, really want to get to this before the sequel comes out, I believe, later this year. So again, beautiful cover, interesting storyline and kind of concept of things, and I really just want to get to it. It's been on my shelf, I think, since it originally came out. I won it in a giveaway, and I was just so excited, and for some reason or another, just haven't picked it up. So I still definitely need to get to this one. And like I said, I am failing miserably. That is like zero out of four right there. So then we have Modern Lovers by Emma Straub. Again, this is another one I won in a giveaway. Heard pretty decent things about. I think it's going to be a perfect fit for summer. Still haven't read it, so now we're zero for five if you guys are keeping track here. All right, and then the last one is The Wings vs. World by Jade Chang, and HMH Books sent this to me, and so this actually arrived after I already moved to the Reno Tahoe area, and it arrived at our Denver house, and my husband was hanging on to it for me when I went up to visit him um, a couple weeks after I had been in our new house. It was there waiting for me, and then somewhere just down the line between the packing and the moving and unpacking and everything, it kind of got lost in the like shuffle there. And so when my husband um, helped hang up my bookshelf frames that are in my room, if you guys know, I kind of use those as like my like book mail, like books I want to read really soon. And it's been sitting there forever. I have just again been failing miserably at these TBRs lately and uh, like my like summer reading kind of challenge that I kind of gave myself and so this again is one that I have not read but I think will be a fun read for the summer time. So if you guys have been keeping track that is now zero out of six that I've read during the first month of the summer read so now I really have to kind of step into it. I also if you guys uh, watched my previous like weekly wrap up uh, I have read a few books, so I'll kind of share those again, just briefly touch on some of those and show you guys um, the books that I have been reading instead of getting some of these. So I'm just going to pull this sweet little cart into here and kind of show you guys real briefly what I've been reading instead of what I originally set out to do. So I read The Final Girls by Riley Sager, which I really loved. It was definitely hyped up, so I wanted to get to it, and I did. Um, the Hum, If You Don't Know the Words by Bianca Morris was also released the same day that Final Girls was, so these both came out on July 11th, and so they were new releases, really well hyped, and stuff that I wanted to get to, and I did. So I actually enjoyed both of those. Then I read uh, Still House Late by Rachel Kane, which I absolutely love. This is a fantastic thriller. If you guys haven't picked it up yet, you know that I've been raving a ton about it. And the few that have actually picked it up and reached out to me said they loved it as well. So I'm so excited that you guys are loving this just as I did. And if you haven't picked it up, again, pick it up. So there is that. Then I'm currently in the process of reading the Everything, I don't actually know what the series is called, but I've been kind of dubbing it like the Everything series. So Everything We Keep by Carrie Lonsdale, and I read and finished that, and I'm almost done. I'm like 60-ish pages or so away from the ends of Everything We've Left Behind, and really enjoying this too. Uh, so more of that will be in this coming weekly wrap-up. Then I also read Hummingbird uh, over the weekend, really short, I think it's like 70 yeah, 71 pages, but I mean, they are extremely short little poems, and I just, I enjoyed this a lot, so I'm excited to talk more about this in my monthly wrap-up or the weekly wrap-up that I have coming, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I was actually reading since I haven't really gotten to my, like, summer read, so yeah, I'm definitely failing, so I will be back in the next month, 
hopefully having better news on my summer reading list. Let me know what you guys have been reading this summer, if there um, is anything in particular that has really stood out to you, or if you guys are kind of reading some of the newer releases, um, or if you guys, you know, are reading some older books like I was attempting to do from your shelves, because I feel like that TBR just piles up so quickly, and there's all these new releases all the time that obviously catch your attention and you want to read first, and so everything kind of gets, you know, like, shoved to the back and I'm trying not to do that I'm trying to dig out some older books and read through them so that was kind of my goal with this and I have just not done so well but let me know if you guys do something similar or if you guys just kind of stick to newer releases and like I said if there's something amazing that you've been reading lately over the summer I would just love to hear from you guys so definitely comment below and let me know thank you guys so much for tuning in today I feel like this was kind of a kind of rushed and rambly kind of video but as you can tell I have been reading some other things and not reading what I was supposed to be, so definitely could have made this video literally like 30 seconds and be like, here's what I was supposed to read, and I didn't. Um, but I just kind of want to keep everybody, you know, updated, touched base with certain things. And I believe Wednesday I have my July um, book haul coming for you guys, so I'm really excited to share that. There is so many books. I am so in love with them all, and I don't know how I will ever choose anything for August to read because I'm still supposed to read this and there's all these other new ones. And so yeah, so August will be very difficult to create a TBR for. And then on Friday, I will have another weekly wrap up. Let me know too if you guys like the weekly wrap ups being on a Friday or if you prefer a weekend or kind of what you guys think about that because last week was the first week that I introduced this new little series to this channel and I'm really excited about it, but I definitely want your feedback. So leave that below too if you guys have watched it. If not, it'll be linked below and just, I would love to hear from you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching this and I will see you later this week. Bye.